the geology has proved that every bit of our land is gold, gold laden. That's why Galam says everywhere now. But what's our policy in tackling this Galam say thing? Suppose in my village there's some stream which is found to be gold laden. And I come, I'm talking of the average citizen, not me. They go and say they want the license or something to do small scale mining. I tell you, they don't stand a chance. So they would be in the village when some big shot like Sam would go with some license and it doesn't come from that village. I, I, I have concession to use this land. And then to get the gold quickly, uh, they would use all the poisons. Uh, mercury, arsenic, and so forth and so on. And gold is everywhere, from the coast through the middle belt to the northernmost, everywhere. That's Galam said now and then. So what, what are we doing? Can't we sit back and f think out a policy that would make Ghanaians everywhere feel truly they are stakeholders in the find? So that some would go to them. As it is now, they don't get to share. If we do it right, the uh, business people would get fair share. The local people would get their fair share. And the state would also get a fair share. But strangely, we are not thinking like that. Uh, right now, we are criminalizing all the young people. Uh, we send soldiers, uh, vanguards, so forth. They go and molest the locals. I haven't heard of uh, such uh, expeditions coming back with, say, pots of gold back to Bank of Ghana. So what's happening? Don't they find the gold? Uh, everywhere we are getting Chinese. I haven't heard of any Chinese people reporting with the gold they got from our lands and waters, meaning they smuggled the thing out. So I, I don't know. We, we are not doing.